Pent and Luis are two of my favorite Fire Emblem characters of all time. They are incredibly unique in that they join the player's party already married. There have been characters like this in the pasts, Quan and Ethlyn from Fire Emblem 4, Glade and Selfina from Fire Emblem 5, and Selet and Juno from Fire Emblem 6 are some couples that spring to mind. But in my opinion, Pent and Louise are the best depiction of this archetype that we have seen so far, and in this video, I want to explain why. Everyone who has followed my channel over the years knows that I really like Louise. Back when I played Fire Emblem 7 for the first time at the age of 15, she was one of the characters that I developed a big crush on, and we all know that the first waifu you get always holds a special place in your heart. It's one of the reasons Lin is so incredibly beloved. Of course, a big reason why I like Louise so much is because she's very pretty, but this isn't the only reason. Fire Emblem is full of gorgeous women, some who I may arguably find a little more attractive than her. But I really think Louise stands out because of how well she's written and because of her relationship dynamic with Pent, which is very unique. But there is something even more special about Louise as a character, and that is that she's an actual good, healthy depiction of a wife and a mother, an archetype that I feel Fire Emblem has completely lost touch with in modern times. Before we get more into their relationship, I want to briefly talk about Luis and Pants as units, because I love how Blazing Sword uses its in-game mechanics to establish their bond. Pent and Luis both join your party pretty late into Fire Emblem 7, and they are incredibly unique in that they come with an already established A-rank support. Luis and Pent are both strong pre-promoted units in their own right, but together they form an incredibly deadly duo, as their ice and light affinities boost their defenses by a lot, making them very durable when in close proximity to one another. I love this for so many reasons. The fact that they are both very hard to kill when they're next to each other is a cool way to show the player how much they care for the other person, and how much harder they fight to stay alive for the sake of their partner. But even more important is how the game just shows you their ace support in plain view. In other Fire Emblem games, pre-established relationships often come in the form of bond supports, which are often invisible to the player, and this just doesn't hit the player as hard. But when you open up Pent and Luis's status screens and you see that glowing ace support, it's impossible for you to miss the importance of their relationship, and this is such a good way to tell a story using in-game mechanics. Furthermore, if you lose one of them, the other one will leave your party as well, meaning that they are linked. You either have both of them, or none of them. I mean, of course, you could just bench the other character, but what monster would possibly do this? Another incredibly interesting aspect of these two characters is that instead of regular support conversations, Pent and Louise have three talk conversations, which has to be activated on specific maps. One on Cog of Destiny, another in Victory or Death, and the third one is not available until the very last battle against the dragon. What I love about these three talk combos, which are essentially a substitute for their support conversations, is that because they are activated at specific points during the game, it lets Pent and Louise discuss the current ongoing events, which is something other characters can never do in their supports. In their sea support, Pent and Louise talk briefly about the Shrine of Seals, and then Pent apologizes for dragging Louise into so many troublesome situations, to which Louise says that she's fine with going anywhere as long as they're together. In their B support, which is easily my favorite conversation they have, Louise gently brings up the fact that she feels Pent is neglecting her a little. She often prepares meals for him at home, but because he's so busy working, he sometimes won't even touch them, and this leads to Louise being very lonely in her mansion. And and after explaining this to Pent, he has a realization that he has been neglecting his wife. He apologizes and promises to rectify this when they both get home, something which makes Louise very happy. This is such a beautiful support conversation because it showcases a problem that I think a lot of people can have in their marriages. Just because you are married doesn't mean you can stop focusing on the relationship. You need to set aside time for your spouse and spend time together. A marriage is a continuous effort to maintain a healthy relationship, and this is showcased beautifully in their conversation. Pent and Luis's A support is very brief, and it pretty much just sees them talking about the dragon, and then Luis reveals to Pent that she is pregnant. This conversation has sparked a lot of discussion in the community, with many people saying Luis is a bad mom for fighting while knowingly pregnant. But you do have to take into consideration that the party at this point is kind of facing a world-ending calamity. If they fail to close the dragon's gate, it's going to lead to a bunch of fire dragons coming into Alib and probably killing hundreds of thousands of people. 
I don't exactly blame Louise for wanting to be beside her husband in this battle to protect him, and I don't think it makes her a bad mom. I do also want to briefly bring up the topic of Clarine and Klein, as a lot of people have pointed out that Pent and Louise doesn't seem to be the best of parents. In fact, I make this point myself in my Clarine and Louise character spotlights. Yes, it is true that Clarine is a bit neglected in Fire Emblem 6, something that causes her to run away from home. She's also a spoiled brat, and you have to ask yourself how a mom like Louise could raise a daughter like this. But I'd say this is more a fault of Fire Emblem 7 being a prequel, because in Fire Emblem 6, only Penn's name was actually mentioned. Louise wasn't even a character back then. Clarine was written before Louise, and she was clearly inspired by Rockuses from Fire Emblem 4, a bratty blonde healer who really likes her older brother. I don't think it's fair to judge the characters of Pent and Louise in Fire Emblem 7 based on what is happening to their children in Fire Emblem 6, a game that was made before 7 yet takes place after it, and was possibly also written by an entirely different cast of people. Yes, it is a bit of a problem with continuity, but that's prequels for you. They are a bit weird. One of the big questions I often get regarding my love for Louise as a waifu is, Manx, why are you interested in a woman who's already taken? And this question always annoys me, because it's not like a fictional character can ever reciprocate your love in the first place, and thus it doesn't really matter if they're single or taken. I understand it can reduce the appeal of a character if she is taken in the universe she belongs to. It explains why so many Astrid fans were enraged when she hooked up with Makalov in Radiant Dawn. But for me personally, Louise being married to Pant doesn't take away from her appeal. If anything, I like her more because of it, because it lets me see how she behaves in the marriage. And when it comes to wife material, I really think Louise is top-notch in a special way. She is incredibly loyal to Pant. She follows him anywhere, even into danger, and she protects him from harm, even when her own life is at risk. She is warm, caring, motherly, and incredibly kind, and despite knowing full well how beautiful she is, she doesn't berate or tear into other characters like Saint for hitting on her in their support. Instead, she lets him down gently and seems generally amused by their interaction, taking the compliment in stride despite knowing full well she can't reciprocate his affection. On a side note, while I've always been a little annoyed by the GBA support limit of 5 slots, this actually kind of works for Louise as she's already taken, and such her A support with Pent is locked in, meaning other characters can only ever get to a B rank support with her. It's a small beautiful detail, but it's another great way of using game mechanics to tell a story. Seeing such a wholesome relationship in Fire Emblem is incredibly rare, and something that we ironically have seen less and less of in modern titles, despite there being a bigger focus on marriage and pairing. This is because when you have a pairing mechanic, the character's last interaction tend to be their S-rank support, which means that the main story we're witnessing is how these two characters met, how they develop feelings for each other, and ultimately how they become a couple. But we see precious little after that. And that's dumb, because as we all know, marriage isn't the end of a relationship, it's the beginning of one. And that is why I love Pent and Luis, because we get a glimpse into how a couple that is already married to one another acts, and that is a rarity, because in modern Fire Emblem, especially now with the focus on having an avatar which has to be able to bone the entire roster, a pre-married couple is something that we might never see again, bar a remake of an older title. Fire Emblem is not a franchise known for showing great family values. Fire Emblem moms are more often than not not even present in the story, and if there is a Fire Emblem dad, he's very likely to be killed for the sake of the plots. The few motherly characters who are present in this franchise are either depicted as overly sexualized, or they are simply crazy, or both. And look, I don't have a problem with fan service in my games. You all know I love looking at beautiful women. And I also get the appeal of the hot mom. Really, I do. All I'm saying is, some variety would be nice. It would be nice to see a wholesome mother figure in a modern Fire Emblem game that isn't just there to make you horny or to coddle you to death. A character like Louise, a feminine, beautiful mother done right. When I was 15 years old, playing Blazing Sword for the first time, I looked at Louise and her interactions with Pent, and I said to myself, that's the kind of woman I would like to marry. A warm, graceful, empathetic, and sweet woman who is also strong and selfless. And 15 years later, I have actually met someone who embodies those very qualities. Louise from Fire Emblem taught me what to look for in a woman, and I think that's pretty damn wholesome. I love this franchise, and I really want to see more pairings like Pent and Louise, because they are a rarity. And while I don't think we will ever see anything like them ever again, 
I do hope that a future Fire Emblem game proves me wrong. My name is Min Mengs. Thank you for watching.